Wevern FC TV with Adam Hinchwood ahead of Hemel Hampstead, uh, an away trip. But looking back on Slough uh, previous weekend, Adam, uh, what were your thoughts on the game and how was it feel to get through in the FA Cup? Yeah, obviously delighted to get through in the end. Um, yeah, real, real tough, tough first half. Um, we didn't manage to play, get in our rhythm, final rhythm, and that was solely down to the efforts that the opposition put us under. Um, really worked hard to, to stop us playing, uh, and, and full credit to them for that. It was not many chances in the game, to be honest, for long, long periods, and you know you just felt that their bit of brilliance for a, a good sh uh, strike from the edge of the box was going to put them through on the day. But um, yeah, the couple of changes that we made, uh, Cal and Ollie, come on, and you know both looked like they had a bit of a point to prove, which is which is what you want from players that aren't in the side um, and yeah really worked hard and really changed the game for us and um, as soon as we got that first goal uh, you know, it really did deflate them and honestly felt we could go on to win the game from there. Just going back on that point about um, the boys having a bit of a point to prove, Ollie Pearce in particular, it's the first game this season he's not actually started, um, you put him on the bench for this one, do you think that kind of uh, hyped him up a little bit, did that kind of get him going and how was that for his confidence as well, getting those goals? Yeah, no, definitely, um, you know, we've got, got a good squad, obviously Mo come into the side and scored two, so you know, I wanted to keep him him going, um, and keep him playing and give, give, give him minutes. Um, which I thought was important, and yeah, like since Jake's injury, and obviously Javon was um, cup tied, um, so we haven't really been able to to rest Cal and Ollie yet, and you know, really getting through a lot of minutes and a lot of work rate. Um, you know, we're lucky enough now we can monitor the the running distances they're covering, and them to covering, you know, a lot. Um, so yeah, I just thought it was an opportunity to have a look at one or two things, and you know. Um, other players that come and step in and, and, and get an opportunity. Um, yeah, try try a bit of a different formation, which probably didn't work on, on the day what we come up against. But, um, you know, full credit to them, they, they responded in exactly the manner that you'd expect from them. Um, they're top lads and, you know, work really hard and, you know, delighted that we managed to get through and, and only got a couple of goals. Going back to that thing about the change of shape, do you think that's something you'd like to go back to at some point or is that something you'd rather leave behind? Oh, yeah, I think um, since we started the season, there's probably been you know little tweaks to the formation that we played. We've um, played four at the back quite a lot. We've changed to a three as games have gone on. Um, but yeah, within that four, we've definitely had different tweaks. Played without and out wide players. Played with them inverted a little bit. Um, so yeah, it's, it's something that we we want to want to continue doing really. Um, you know, you know we've. The personnel we've got, um, certain players are suited to certain systems, and yeah, it's coming up with that right system that that suits for the personnel that's available. Um, so it seems to be working well for us, and and the players are adapting really well. Um, good uh, footballing brains to be able to change shape so many times, and um, you know, it's full full credit to them for, for for making it work so far. And they were making it work on, on Saturday with a, a late goal. You, you said it before, you can't leave a Worthing game early. And that was kind of proven again on Saturday. How was that for you, looking at your players who you put in that kind of effort right till the end? Is it, that's got to be great for you as a manager. Yeah, great great um, morale and team spirit to, to carry on going. You know, they showed great character, great togetherness. Um, and, you know, they don't, don't, don't never give up. And that's what I think any fan, any manager that... that that is part of a part of a team wants to see. Um, they keep fighting to the end, and um, even when it's not been, you know, our our day as such in terms of possession and and how we like to play and find our rhythm on the ball, um, you know, we kept um, fighting and, and found a way to, to win the game, and that's what this group are, have done uh, countless times now, um, this season and in previous seasons as well. So it's a it's a good. Um, Characters have in, in the side, and um, you know, like I say, full credit to players. Uh, they carry on going. They work tirelessly hard. Their their work ethic they show in training. Um, you know, just please, it's getting reflected out on the pitch now. And that win, that three-one win at Slough, has given us uh, a grow, uh, uh, into into the next round, third qualifying round of the FA Cup, um, and the draws against Eastbourne, Eastbourne at home. What are your thoughts on that draw and that fixture? Yeah, that's no, similar to the Slough away one. Real tricky. Tricky tie, um, you know. You know what you're going to get. It's going to be a real tough game. Um, you know, probably other than than Slough, it's been one of our toughest 
test so far in terms of you know stopping us playing and, and doing what we do. Um, so yeah, we've like we're gonna have to be our best. Um, but yeah, this this stage of the competition, you don't expect any easy rides. Everyone in the competition is um, you know of of decent ilk and. You know, it's it's a tie at home and one that both teams are probably feel that they can win and, and get through in. So um, that sort of um, leads to a good cup tie, in my opinion. Yeah, um, but before that is Hemel Hampstead uh, this Saturday and an away trip uh, again. What are you expecting from Hemel and what are your thoughts going into the game? No, yeah, they're, they're on a bit of a, um, picked up a little bit, a couple of good uh, results. Um, so they beat Dulwich away, so they'll be now keen to go on a bit of a run and push themselves up the table um, and you know a home win against us will certainly go a long way to helping them do that so uh, it's, it's key for us to, to carry on our momentum and yeah we want to try and you know get back to how it was, I thought Chester we played excellently well um, we want to get back to that kind of level of performance again um, and it's down to ourselves and the, the players that cross that line to, to try and deliver deliver that and I know they won't be for a want to try and they'll give their all and um, yeah we're going to have to stand up to, to, the, to the test that they sort of provide for us as well. Speaking of continuing momentum, uh, every away game so far uh, won all of them, all four, 100% record uh, and even a win in the FA Cup away as well. What sort of pressure is that to kind of keep that run going and, and how do you think you can keep that kind of run going? No, it's, it's, it's no pressure whatsoever, I don't think. It's, um, yeah, obviously a great um, thing to have um, and a little record to, to be proud of. But, um, yeah, we, we just focus on game to game. Um, so all we're looking at is us being better than we was against Slough. Um, that's our key focus. Um, there's lots for us to, to work on on that, whether... Um, you know the the game in midweek um, caused us to have a bit of tired legs, but we did try and freshen up a little bit. So don't think that was too much of an excuse. We just yeah a bit below par in terms of um, our quality that we delivered on the ball on Saturday. So we'd be trying to you know get back to our levels, and it's a it's another three G surface away from home. So um, you know both teams will be used to it, um, and yeah, it's one that. We definitely will go there, do all we can to try and win the game, and I'm sure they'll be trying to do the same. Third in the league at the moment, it's a it's a good spot to be in, unbeaten as well, um, similar to the away record. W what sort of point as a newly promoted team does that record put a bit of a, a marker on you on on you guys? When a team's going to start to think of beating Worthing as like a scalp in this league? Um, well, judged by some of the reactions we've had of teams coming in and getting a draw. Um, I think it's already a scout to be honest with you, but um, yes, yeah, it's, it's it's good. You, you know, we've won a lot of football matches in the last few years, um, and with that, you know, it's it's a nice pressure to have. Teams do look at you and give you ultimate respect. Um, the the two guys at Slough were really respectful, and um, you know, full full credit to 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 the lads to to have that kind of pressure and playing that pressure. Um, it should be a lot of privilege to. To play for Wyvern at the moment and have that kind of pressure upon you, um, something to to really enjoy. Um, and yeah, like I say, we don't put too much pressure on ourselves. We just focus on getting what we do right. And if we do that, we know we will be a, a tough test for for any team. Um, and yeah, that's that's just all our focus will be on, on ourselves and us being better on the ball. Putting the focus back on Worthing, is there any team news going into Hemel Hampstead? Any injuries or updates? Um, none, I don't think so. Uh, Comrades missed the last couple of weeks with a hamstring injury, so I think he's likely to be training tonight, so could be back in contention for that. Um, there's no knocks and anything from, from the weekend. Obviously, Comrade and Siobhan were uh, cup tied. Dan Thompson's tweaked his calf a bit, so he's still going to be out for a, a period of time. I don't see much of him um, in the next few weeks, unfortunately. But um, yeah, other than that, it's pretty much a clean bill of health. We've seen uh, Luke's gone to Bogomar to get some games, um, so that would really help him in his um, you know, need for, for minutes and fitness. Um, and yeah, other than that, we're pretty much at a clean bill of health.